must agree that uh, financing is our greatest handicap in terms of developing our local sector. And really, if we want to develop that sector and create employment for our people and uh, revolutionize our economy by getting them paying taxes and participating in the economy, we need to critically think on how to help in the areas of financing. Because the projects are there, the workforce is there, all that is remaining is that gap of financing. So I think this is something that we need, we need to discuss and agree on how to discuss with the developers from the world. This is really uh, the way to revolutionize our economy by really getting the informal sector working and dignifying their work. How we certify these people and then place them to a project. We have serious programs for affordable housing. We have very serious programs for markets. And what a better way for a government to show its commitment to a population of Bayer than placing these people to their project. And because the Department of Housing is here, the Department of Tibet is here, that is what we want. Let us register people, take them through, they get certified, and then we place them somewhere. So that even when the president goes around, I feel that there will be more impact when he's dealing with the human resource aspect on top of the physical aspect. For a long time, we have had many different skills for the recognition. Here, they have the right to And when it's a program was conceived, I have the best issue has been done. It has taken the final workforce. They have been funded for us. They have done a lot of for our cars when they get into accidents. They have um, maintained our plumbing facilities. They have been very useful in unlocking our drainages. They are simply amazing, but they just out there. So this problem is a must in the sense that uh, we are formalizing skills. Because these are people who are skills. And so this program is, is really a revolution uh, in our country's economic development and uh, the creation of a great workforce.